Hello. Welcome back to Hungry Own Game. It's Try Stuff Tuesday once again. I'm going to try some stuff. Today we're going to try Wraithbinder. This is the demo. I believe the full game is not out yet, but I could be wrong. This is a roguelite. Metrovania roguelite, I believe. I don't think I really care about how my character looks, if I'm being honest. Long. Maybe HGR. Oh, you know what? I'm silly. Hungry on game. No. Play. All right. Don't need to spend all the time in characters. Look, let's just have some fun. So, game is being actively worked on. It's developed by Wizard Foo, which is a solo dev, I believe. Follow me steps. Wait, I'm on a ship? This is not me, by the way. The game is moving on its own. I'm like a sky pirate. That's fun. Oh no. Oh, it's a cutscene. <laughs> it's like, I can't move. So I believe the core gameplay loop is Vampire Survivors-esque with some procedure generated levels and a lot of exploration. The yeah, Titan Crow. Oh no! The Devil Bird took, took my friend out and then took me away! What is this? Don't drop me. Okay, good. It's not like Heihachi Kazuya be a bad time. All right, well, bye. And as you can see, there's a, a story. Oh, it's, oh, it's their child. Any salt you find. Everyone just gave him a salute, kind of pog. Well, I can also pog out of control. Oh, baby. It's a good time. I guess I should have said action roguelite, which it certainly is. Game's aesthetic is unique, but I kind of like it. I'm curious how... I'm curious how clear it will feel. Why is my kick got so much AoE? And then there's a dodge. Dodge is infinite? Question mark? Whoa! It's like a little zoom effect. Interesting. Treasure, nice. Alrighty, what do these items do here? Mana steel, move speed, max health. I think I'll take. Oh, interesting. This is locked in the demo. I'll take this. The old speed nudger. That's experience. So you have items and you have levels. Oh, goodness. Where'd the enemy go? The zoom in effect is interesting. It kind of helps with combat sometimes, but it can be a little jarring. Move speed for 90 seconds. Gold. Or more experience. We'll take the gold. I don't want something that's temporary. So I don't know what I'm doing yet. So I don't know what I'm going to do zooming around. Oh, this is where we started, I think. I guess that's the other element of this. Unlike Vampire Survivors, where you just uh, stay in one place, basically. And the map is like kind of irrelevant. Has some features, but it's kind of irrelevant. This actually has like a full-on map you can explore, which is really cool. All right, we can get a sword or we can get an ax. Uh, the sword is free, let's grab the sword. Oh, I have to use it to clear the way. Interesting. It's kind of fun. I like that, it kind of introduces the idea of like exploring potentially. Yeah, the little boxes are nice. And the range on this thing is like kind of wild. 
I'm curious how complex combat will get because this view is so close. Like it's not a horde game, right? It's more like a, almost like an action fighting game. It feels like. So I'm curious how complicated it's gonna get. Cause I can see like combat getting really interesting. All right, power of the ability or more experience. I need a lot of experience to level up. I'm kind of down for this ability. Oh, I see. Oh, my dash costs mana. I didn't even know. So more damage or more dash. I think I'm down for more dash. Where's my mana bar? It's on the left. Oh, that's really cool. So you can dash like basically instantly again, but it does cost mana. I like that. All right, up we go. Well, that is trippy. <laughs> that made me feel mildly ill. Treasure, nice. Oh, a blink orb, we can teleport forward and do damage. Or boots, which can't afford, it looks like. I have gold. I don't have whatever this purple thing is. So we'll take the blink orb. Oh. Oh, interesting. How do I use this? Interesting. Huh. Wait, it was already a teleport, right? I'm confused. Did I not get? Hang on a second. I don't understand exactly what changed, but that's okay. Oh my God, the spinning. Spinning is a lot. I could see motion sick, uh, prone people not enjoying all the spinning. <laughs> Floor the third. The sound design is really fun in this game. Observe. Oh, cool. Those high scores. That's fun. Won't be me. Ooh. Do a little more exploring, maybe. Oh, it does attack. That's fun. Now I can just blink attack everything. That's kind of pog. Is this a boss? Oh, boy. Ooh. I think I can chain attacks and blink attacks. Yeah, that seems pretty good. My health bar. Look at it go. It's like rocking back and forth. That was the mana bar, actually. <laughs> to clear this off, I guess. What is this? Plus two explosive defense. Equip. Sure. Little concerned why I would need explosive defense, but... Can I, like... Oh, my goodness. St okay. Well, the game did try and warn me. I can't say it didn't try and warn me. Wait, why is the chest running away? It's kind of troll. So I'm trying to see if I can ex explore any of these additional areas out here. It doesn't look like it. All right, what's this? More attack speed, more health, or that, which I can't get right now. I will take the health, I think. I'm feeling good about all the blink attacking. What is this? Where is this coming from? What is happening to me? Can I just sit here farming? I'm so confused. Like, I feel like I have to shut it off. I don't know how. I think I wanted to sit here farming. That seems a little silly. I shouldn't have dashed into the enemy, probably. Probably true. All right. I'm no longer opening chests. We're hitting them. 8% chance of ice infliction with dash and explosive. Or more health. I'll take ice. Seems fun. 
Oh goodness. Okay. A classic chain explosion. Good times. Oh, more explosions. Well, that was easy. I just let everything explode and then it was good. Upgrade the power of an ability or max mana and mana regen. I think this is better. I'll upgrade the sword now. The sword deserves more damage. Who's this? Hello. Oh, kind stranger. Eve saved me. Humble maker of maps. Ah, interesting. I. All right. Well, what the? My guy. Was that supposed to happen? My guy was about to push me through a wall. All right. That's cool. So now we have a map, which is a good time. Oh, goodness. This is a boss. Okay, the spinning for the boss, I can get a little bit more behind. The vision. I like the dash. The dash is crispy. This has like, I don't know how else to describe this, like platform fighter energy, ow, in a roguelite, which is really cool. Also kind of reminds you of side-scrolling game. Like a side-scrolling action game, which I love those games. With obviously, you know, some roguelite elements, which include such popular tropes as leveling and acquiring things. Should be good here to beat the meatball boss. No way. Oh, I thought I... Never mind. I got an achievement. I thought I died. But it was the opposite. I won. I've beaten the first mini boss. That was a mini boss? Captain Loy! That's my name. All right, what do we got? New abilities. Oh, I like that. I think I just picked it up automatically. Range defense or... Oh, I get all these things. Well, that's fun. No. I don't understand. I think I automatically picked up some items and I'm a little bit confused as to why, but that's okay. We'll keep going. I'm zooming up. I kind of want to die to see what happens, but... What is this, man? Why do you have to hit everything in this game? Is that really the answer to all your questions? Just to hit stuff? Okay, well, I gotta see what this stuff is. That's a gold. This is... Mana regen, maybe? Don't even know. Okay, so now... Oh, we get a new weapon. That's fun. Knives or a bow? Oh, I wanted the bow. Do I have a second weapon? Oh, that's cool. Now I have a mouse one and a mouse two weapon. Throw a knife with right click. Lock on a target and strafe. Oh, that is sick. And I can manually aim. Oh, like that. Sure. All right, that's cool. The strafe thing's really cool. This game is very esoteric. Also, the graphic style kind of reminds me of like old, like a podgy games, is what I want to say. Oh, more leaderboards, got it. Like, it's kind of like deep fried Duke Nukem. Oh my goodness. That was exciting. Holy, I teleported somehow. All right, we gotta keep going. Clearly, they don't want me to be here. And that's understandable, I guess. I am like destroying their stuff. No! Gotta be faster. Is like the speedrun level? All right, we're out of here. Wait, what? Do I have to beat this to get more floor? Is that what's happening? I'm gonna be honest, I'm spending a lot of this game confused. But maybe that's okay. Okay. Is everything like... Okay, no. Oh, I had to hit the thing. I could barely see that on screen. Or off screen, I should say. 
Wait, why are they like teleporting away? So this is so many more enemies than I've ever had to contend with. I like the strafe. Oh, I need mana to throw knives. Now you tell me. Yeah, it costs a little bit of mana to use the knife. Okay, that makes sense. Didn't make sense if the mana bar was just for dashing. That would be a little, oh, I am so low. Oh, everything looks like it's gonna kill me in this game. Fiercest crew in the seven skies. I'm definitely a sky pirate. Ooh, ability key. Isn't that the thing I've been able to get to like get new stuff? I like that. I'll take one of those. Take some meta currency. Oh, actually it's not meta currency. It's, I think it's regular currency. Also, I have noticed that there's no like health fountains. Actually, I've no idea how to get health back, period. Our captain. The scent of treasure. Big pog. All right, what's in here? They've been waiting for me to open this chest while I've been drowning. I have a... Mm. Oh. Stand your ground. All right, so as a reminder, I think this... As a reminder, the game is called Wraithbinder, and I just got the Wraithbinder item. What does that mean? We'll find out, I suppose. Oh, I'm like a necro? Let's go. Now it just follows me? Cool! The beast be wraithbound to me. But a trifle. I feel like you say that and I have one health. You just not... Take the context clues. What is it supposed to do damage to me, by the way? I don't know. Anyway, me and this ghostly dog. <laughs> I don't really know what the enemy is. We're going to go ahead and try and survive 4-7. I still have one health, right? That's not... That's not looking good. I still only have one health. I just have a feeling I'm going to die. That's all. I don't want to, like... I don't want to panic. Oh, yes, let's go. Ghost Dog is popping off. Ghost Dog's actually carrying. I will say, Ghost Dog is a little too close to looking like an enemy. I mean, it was an enemy, I guess, so that's kind of why. But that's not helping my perspective. Like, I know it's a different color and stuff, but like, it looks like an enemy. Can't just ignore that fact. Okay, Ghost Dog is popping off though, actually. All right, we have a new helmet for explosive defense. Or more explosive defense, I think. Open with ult. Nice. Oh no. It's a very small space, which is like the number one rule of survivors. Vampire survivors. Do not get trapped. Where's my... Oh, now I have this thing? Let's go. Still have one health, by the way. Oh, you're kidding me. What even killed me? <laughs> I don't even know. All right, well, I did ask what happens when you die, so I'm glad I get to discover that, I suppose. It is a roguelite, remember. All right, healer's contraption has revived the captain. Good to know. What's up, fam? Who dis? This is my robot. I've diligently maintained protocols. Trying to find my child. Not happening. Yet. That was like roughly the gist of that. I skim read that. <gasps> There's a shop. Let's go. Alrighty. So this is... So you keep all your gold. Keep whatever this is. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's the floor I got to. And we have this ghost dog ability now. Oh, we keep the keys too. So you keep all your... I was right. It was meta currency. That's fun. All right. So I have auto map. Lantern increases distance seen on dark falls by 50. 
Quickly traveling to locations that you've explored using the auto map includes five teleport charges. I think I'll take the compass. I don't think I want any of this other stuff, to be honest. But good to know there's a shop. All right, back up we go. So this is floor one again, right? Also, I thought the levels were procedural. I guess, because I was trying to think how the teleport would work. My guess is that it takes you back to that floor, basically. All right, the birds still took my son, which is no good. I don't have knives. I do have the ability to, oh my goodness, what is this? Like, can you see what I mean? Like, I have no idea what's happening. Which is like, definitely like a personal problem I have, but the game's art style, while kind of cool and stylized, like I do like the art style, it is kind of hard to see what's going on. All right, we're almost at level two, whatever that means, so three XP away, so we'll take more. Also, the green dot is comforting. Oh, that's not an enemy. Okay, permanently increases the tier of armor I can wear. That's kind of fun. So I have to find stuff, I assume. I thought it was gonna give me something. That would've been fun. All right, what is this? Mana steel, can't have that. Max health, attack speed. We'll take attack speed this time. Oh yeah, look at me go. 5%, it's cooking. Oh, I don't have a blink dash anymore. I like, have a weapon. So now I should be able to buy, yes, I can buy a new weapon. Fast speed, low damage. You know what? We have two keys. We'll take this. We'll take the knuckles. Yeah! All right, that's fun. Punch, punch, punch. Dash. Oh, there's enemies, of course. What is happening? I kind of want one of these. How do I, oh my goodness, why is it like this? Why are they phasing in and out of the world? That's kind of BS, fam. Oh, okay, that that was on me, getting hit there. I really want to, I really want one of these because they seem annoying as crap to kill. Yes, now I have one. Oh, that's the Wraith Bind, like, sign. Okay, that makes sense. These enemies are so annoying, by the way. Oh, light is a different meta currency. Interesting. Oh, I like that the captain says trusty blade, even though I have knuckles. Didn't change the context of the text there. It's fine. Like I said, the game is very much in dev still. Um, I'll take more experience, I guess. I guess experience is something that also goes up between runs. Send. Wait, what is this? Why does it look different? Okay, whatever. Like, there was no platform. <laughs> Alright, blink orb or... Oh, phase through walls, that would have been fun. Okay. Spin him back through the levels again. See if we can live a little bit longer. this way still so like still recovering from the level where the floor was just like exploding like <laughs> there's just so much happening in this game regular cloak okay so it looks like the equipment when you don't have a piece you just auto pick up which is fine I feel like my current Wraith Bind is really strong, and I like that. Mana regen versus upgrade. I'll take the upgrade this time. I'll take the Knuckles upgrade. The damage is pretty low, which is kind of the feature of the weapon. So if we can make it better, oh, this thing again. Oh, he took it out. Let's go. If we can make it better, then that seems good. The damage, that is. Move speed. Is this and region tax speed? I'll take my tax speed. I'm trying to attack hard and fast. 
Which is all anyone wants. In a video game. That would be fun. I play video game, so this is gonna be kind of a tangent. Oh, plus one bindable wraith. Now that's poggers. I want this thing. Oh, it's not a thing, it's a person. Hello. Light the wanderer will repay me. You can learn to imbue physical matter. Oh, that's fun. Oh, I see what's happening. Sorry, I haven't realized, but the NPCs I'm rescuing are um, people that go down to like the basement or my ship. That's not a basement. To, wait, to my ship, which is not a basement. And hang on. And <laughs> I have to talk. Uh, and they're like vendors and stuff I can interact with. Which is cool. All right, mini boss time. Gazrel, a black dot from the shadows. I'm just gonna let my Wraith Binder go for it. That is a lot of teleporting, man. But actually, would my Wraith Binder just take him out? I'm punching. I'm punching. Oh! What's the health bar? Oh, it's there. Ooh, we did it. Nice. Good punching, everyone. Anyway, sorry, my tangent. Uh, I used to play a lot of World of Warcraft back in Wrath of the Lich King, and I played the best class in the game, Discipline Priest. Uh, and what is happening? I'm just picking up everything, which is fine. Uh, I think the mini boss, you get to pick up everything. Sometimes you have to make choices, sometimes you don't. Again, game's clarity, not the strongest, but gameplay, pretty fun. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, Discipline Priest is the best class in the game, and I played it and loved it. Oh, let's go. Do you want the energy, boo? And uh, I was going to say I'd play a game where you had to heal stuff as your primary, uh, like, thing. I think that'd be fun. Five. Looks like it's five mana per... Anyway, only at like 20 health again, so not, not feeling too healthy. I think we got to floor seven last time, see if we can get up another floor. Preferably to the end of whatever the demo is, but if we die, we die. Can't be helped. Oh, is this the one that collapses again? Is this the like, Kurushi? People know that game? PS1 game where like the blocks chase you. It's a puzzle game. It's kind of wild. Alright, I have Wraith bound once again. Oh my goodness, it keeps hitting me. Let me open this. The floor is lava. Very, just very terrifying. Wait, what? Wait, I have, oh, I thought I had three. I have two little minions. Good times. Uh, I can't dash as much if I keep arrowing. The energy bow is really sweet. Enemies can also dash, which is a choice. I mean, it's good that they can fight back, but sometimes I wish they wouldn't, you know? Okay. Do we want experience or do we want light? I guess I'll take light. Although, not that far away from the next level. What is happening? Where did you find this? Now my Wraith Binds are just opening chests. I feel like they're doing too much of my job. I don't really like that. Thought I was the cool one around too. Oh my goodness, the strafing, I ran out of mana. Ugh. Wait, where are my Wraith Binds? I guess they both died. All right. Mana Steel, Explosive Defense. Mana Steel sounds good. I wonder if that's on all of my attacks? Only on some of them. Did I hit this thing? No. Well, I could, but it doesn't really do anything. Where am I? Okay, we're here. Nice. Well, that was easy. Yeah. Plus one gold magnet. Never a bad.
bad time. All right, I gotta stop dashing so much. It's not free. It's often free in, like it's free in Hades, for example, other games like this. Oh, but it's not free in this game, so I gotta stop it. Oh no. Is this where I died last time? I think I died somewhere very similar looking. I would like to not die again, but I'm not know if I'm, don't know if I'm doing a good job of that. Also, this is definitely way more like Hades. I don't know why I thought this was a sub Vampire Survivors like. Maybe I just really want to play Vampire Survivors again. It's honestly, could be what it is. These teleporting, phasing bear things are extremely annoying. Thank you. My other teleporting bear hit the other one. Ability cost. I'll oh, upgrade something. Let's upgrade the bow. I'm enjoying the bow a lot. I do need some mana regen though. Alright, I think I got through an extra floor? No, I don't think so. I think now I'm up to where I was. Alright, use mana to drop bombs. I mean, that sounds really fun, but I don't have any unlocks for it. What? All this stuff sounds so fun! Now I have mini grenades. Press E to lob a mini grenade. Hold E to lock on a target and strafe. It's like 10. I think it's 10 or so. This mana region. Why is that a health region? Anyway. Grenades seem fun. I guess I didn't have grenades before, so I assume I've gotten further than I did last time. Everything's blending together. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Between the beep boop and the whoop sounds and... I don't know what's going on today. Which is not, like... Specific to today, I suppose. Grenades are fun. Oh no, I've angered the locals. This is like a... Oh, I... Wait, did... Wait, my Wraithbinder tanked that? Let's go. I mean, this is hilarious. I don't know if it's good or not, but... Spamming grenades is a good time. Alright, collected stuff. What's happening here? Why are they angry? Alright, mana mana regen seems good. Because I'm using a lot of mana now. Okay, just checking, you know. Still an explosive. Oh! Level 3! Now I can wear even sweeter armor. Ah! Ah! It's chasing me! Everything's fine. Where am I? Wait, what? Was there an enemy there? I feel like I'm losing it, actually. Okay, I should stop dashing. <laughs> I don't know why my wraith binds are like running over there. I just don't understand. Oh, this enemy seems horrendous. This room seems horrendous actually. Wait, the other enemy died? How did that happen? Mass explosion strategy worked. Nice. More mana. Needs more explosions. Good times. Just throw a grenade off the map. It's fine. All right, get him. Yeah, good work, minions. What? I have to like kick it because I'm out of juice. My mana is regening kind of slow, actually. Yeah, like really slow. Should I just wait? Waiting is lame. What? Why can I open that when there's stuff there? I don't understand. Is this a mini boss? Looks like, I guess it's a small version of the mini boss I took out before. I'm so confused. There's so much happening. Oh, I got a green key. That seems good. I have a slime boss as one of my minions. Okay. Everything that's happening in this game is just like very trippy. Oh, ow. 
Wait, what? Hang on. What is going on? Okay, I'll take doubling the HP of my minions. I like my minions a lot. They know more of what's happening than I do, so... What just hit me? Where does run? No, this is back where I started. Oh, okay. Sorry. I got very distracted. There was like a extremely strange sound happening outside my house. And I thought it was a game sound. And I was like, what is that supposed to mean? And it turns out it's just, it's something outside. <laughs> I don't think you can hear it. I think it's picking up, but uh, that was extremely confusing. In, a, in an experience where I'm already seemingly permanently confused. Again, I think mostly for my own hubris. Uh, that did not help. Anyway, we can resume. Again, the enemies just appear. Why can't I open the treasure chest? Did I just get teleport? I feel like I got dull sinned on just then. Like someone just teleported behind me. And punched me in the back. That's not cool, bro. Can anyone possibly explain what is happening? I don't think so. But what did I just get? What is a god? An ability? A god? Like a literal god? A guardian? What is happening? That is an enemy? Take life, I guess. Don't know what this is. Just shoot it? No? Alright, whatever. It's not important, I think is the answer. I have to go down. I have five health. I have a prediction. I don't think it's gonna end well, friends. Can I not? Because I have to explode those? I mean, I have bombs. But if you know anything about Metroidvania style games. Oh, that's sick. Wait, it cancels the intro? Wait, oh, I'm actually cheating. Wait, I think I'm actually hacking. That was kind of sick. Oh my goodness. How did I not take damage that time? What? What is happening to me? I'm so scared and confused. Go, my minions. Whoa! I have to save all my mana, I think, for dashing. That's gonna make it hard to, like, do anything! This game is interesting. Okay, so I think we've got a good taste of what's going on here. So after two runs of the Wraith Bunner demo, by the way, uh, this demo must be pretty substantial. I think it's like at least the first act of the game, according to what I read. So here we go. Get the full game. So it looks like it's not, oh, this will open, this opens the Steam page. That's cool. Uh, let me check. Is it available right now? It is. Okay. So, that was Wraithbinder. First of all, this is a demo. You can still get the demo, I believe. And it was pretty substantial, as you saw. Like, we didn't finish whatever the demo is. Uh, and could have played for quite a bit longer to try and finish the content. And the game is available now if you want to buy it. It's $15 currently, I believe, US. I really liked the aesthetic of this game. I thought the world was really fun. It's cool to see like a setting we don't see that often, like space pirates, I don't think is the most common game trope, at least lately. So it's cool that the developer clearly poured time and energy into world building that I assume really appealed to them. Um, but I will say, oh, and a lot of the systems in this game are really cool. like. The mana system was nice for all your abilities and your dash, especially. Um, 
the item screen was fun to navigate, like the experience being kind of separately tracked. And there was even like a whole progression system we didn't interact with, the light system we didn't interact with at all. There's a lot going on, but I will say, I think the thing you constantly heard for me is that as much as I like the style of the game, because I do think it looks really cool, for the style of game especially, it is so hard for me to pass what's going on. Especially given that one of the primary mechanics is killing enemies and then having them be summons for you. Literally the models are enemy models. <laughs> so sometimes I was like, oh, that's my Wraith Bind. And then it was an enemy and then sometimes the opposite. I think when you're building an action roguelite, you do want to like, like visual clarity is pretty important, especially because the battlefield can get really messy and you want to have your players feel like they got hit fairly whenever they get hit and when the games get hectic you're gonna get hit and i think there's definitely some level of like oh learning the enemy attacks learning the patterns learning the enemy types that go into games like this and i think that's really fun like sometimes you're just gonna get hit because you don't know what something does and then you know you do enough loops and you figure it out but the game's art style isn't helping on that front i don't think as much as i like it but where it is helping is i actually think the exploration and the atmosphere of the game is really cool so on balance, I think a game that I would maybe play again. I think if I played a lot of it, I would start getting used to the aesthetics of the game and how things functioned. And obviously I would learn, you know, the enemies and the patterns more. But yeah, interesting experience. Uh, as you see, the Red Thunder demo is pretty robust. So if you want to give it a go, you certainly can. The game's available now if you want to buy it. This is a solo dev, I believe. Wizard Foo is doing the whole thing by themselves, as far as I know, which is really cool. Uh, supporting indie devs and Exploring indie games is something that's really important to me and something that I want to do on the channel. So you'll see a lot more indie stuff. In fact, you've seen, I think, a decent amount already. But I'll be looking at a lot of different things if there's types of game on the channel, especially on the Try Stuff Days. Try Stuff Tuesday has been really fun. If there's things you'd want me to try, you can let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help the channel out, but only do it if you're into that sort of thing. And as, al as always, sorry, as always, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time.